everyone, how are you all doing? Welcome or welcome back to my little corner of the internet. Uh, today I am breaking out the DIY skills once again. Maybe skills is like a questionable word, but uh, I feel like for however many years I've been doing YouTube, uh, DIY videos is definitely something that I have kind of like consistently done over the years. Most recently it's definitely been more like home DIY as opposed to uh, like craft project DIY but today I'm going back to my roots and I have a craft project to show you which is this baby abacus that we have made for our son Finn for Christmas. I kept seeing these around and I knew that it was something that I did want to get for Finn because I think you know even though right now he's just coming up six months um, I had it on the table for a couple of days while I was like getting ready to film this video um, and he kept like trying to look at it and trying to play with it and stuff so I think even though right now it's not going to be like the most fun toy for him. I think over time it will be because he'll be able to, you know, just move the beads around for now. He'll be able to kind of like shake it almost like a bit of a rattle. And then as he grows, he'll be able to, you know, like learn the names of the colors and he'll be able to learn to count um, on the 15 beads that are on this. So yeah, I couldn't justify the like 50 or $60 cost of buying one of these. So instead, uh, I have basically just enlisted the help of my husband because he's done most of it, but we have made one ourselves and I have filmed the process because I thought it might be kind of an interesting video if it is something that you might like to make yourself. Even if you don't have kids, I think this is actually quite a cool piece of like home decor and even when Finn doesn't want to play with this toy anymore or if he like grows out of it, um, I definitely think it's probably something that, you know, like I wouldn't mind sitting on the shelf as like something decorative as well. So yeah, without further ado, here is the tutorial of how I made this, where I got the materials uh, and everything like that. For this DIY, you're gonna need some wooden beads, some metal rods or some wooden dowels that your beads fit on and some wood for the frame. We are using some Rimu timber that we already had in our garage, which we've cut to size using a planer. I could have definitely left the beads just like the plain wood color if I wanted to have a more natural look, or I could have also tried to find colored beads, but instead I chose to buy the wooden beads and then paint them. After choosing some nice pastelish colors, I purchased some resin test pots. I had a paintbrush lying around the house already and then I used some skewers to stick the beads on with some masking tape while I was painting them. Because Nick has the tools we chose to make the corners on like a 45 degree angle but if you don't have the tools to do that you could still just make uh, like the two pieces of the frame sit on top of each other if that makes sense like you know this could be one whole piece and then this is a piece. I'll just chuck in a photo of what I mean because it will probably be easier to explain. While I got to work doing two coats of paint on the beads for this DIY Nick got to work building the frame and apologies in advance for the voiceover that is about to happen. I feel like when girls get their partners to do makeup voiceovers and their partner has no clue what anything is that is basically me in this situation. So as mentioned he used a planer in the first instance to shave some thin layers uh, off the piece of wood so that it was nice and smooth and then he cut them to the right size. Dimension size by the way, we have chosen to make our abacus 24 centimeters wide by 16 high and 3.5 centimeters thick. The next step was using the drop saw to cut the corners onto a 45 degree angle and then make sure all four pieces fit nicely together and then once that's done give them a good sand. Once all the pieces were sanded it was time to make the holes for the metal rods which are evenly spaced within the frame. Once Nick figured out where the holes needed to be he re-drilled the holes a few times with different drill bits to ensure they were the right size for the rods without being too big. He gave the end pieces of the frame a bit more of a sand once he'd done that and then it was time to cut the rods to size because we couldn't find any that were the exact size that we wanted. He is using a grinder to do this and then he's just giving the ends of the rods that he cut a little bit of a file. Once the beads were on he is just double checking that the frame was still fitting together well and then he used some wood glue to stick all of the pieces of the frame together and then he used some clamps just to help reinforce the glue sticking together to the frame uh, and then left this to dry overnight. The next morning he took the clamps off and then drilled some small holes into each of the corners uh, of the frame before adding some nails for some extra stability. We knew that we didn't want to see the nails on the side of the abacus so Nick used a nail punch to push the nails down a little bit further and then he added some Remy wood filler uh, to fill in the nail holes and then a bit on the corners of the frame as well. I'm pretty sure he left the wood filler to dry overnight as well and then the next morning he came back and gave that a sand and then also made sure to give the whole entire frame a sand to get rid of any sharp edges because of course this is going to be a toy for a baby so we don't want him to be able to hurt himself on this toy at all and there you have it it's all done. And that is 
is it. As I said uh, in the intro of this video, I just love how this looks. And even if Finn doesn't want to play with it, it's definitely a toy that I don't mind, you know, like having on display because A, I think it's cool that uh, Nick has made this, but also I just think it looks really pretty. So hopefully you enjoyed watching this video. If you are going to uh, be making one of these yourselves, please, in whatever like social platform you prefer to use, please tag me in it because I'd love to see, you know, other people creating these as well. Even if you just watch this video because you wanted to see the process but you have no intention of making one of these yourself, uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. I am really excited to give this to Finn on Christmas Day and then when he is old enough to understand what I'm saying, um, I think it'll be cool to tell him that like this is a toy that was specifically made for him by his dad because I have a bunch of toys or like I had a bunch of stuff that my uh, granddad had made me when I was growing up and you know like it's really cool to have something that like someone has uh, taken the time and like put love into making specifically for you so I think this will be a pretty cool present that hopefully Finn appreciates when he's old enough to appreciate things um, and that is all I have to say so thank you very much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all later on with another video bye